Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. This week is usually a big one for college baseball as the NCAA tourney would begin around the country. The Sycamores, like everyone else, saw their season shut down in March. This May is all about gaining perspective as we catch up with Mitch Hannes. We all talk about perspective. Sometimes we, as much as anyone in the sport world, need it slapped upside the head and reminded of what's important. ISU head coach Mitch Hannes is spending his days trying to schedule 2021 opponents. And, and the tough part, you know, in the world of athletics and a lot of times in education, we know the starting date. We know when the semester starts. We know when everything kicks off. We know the ending date for the most part. You know, the season, when the tournament gets going, you know when the regional tournaments are. And so I think the hard part for all of us right now is not having a start date and a finish date. So we it's tough to prepare, so just the unknown. It's been tough for everyone. The Sycamores wrapped up their 2020 season in March with an 8-6 and six record and more questions than answers. It was really hard because obviously as the leader of the group, I didn't have any answers, right? I mean, we're all scuffling through this together and trying to figure out what's going on together. And Like I told, told our players at the time, um, we're all still on a team. It just becomes a bigger team that we're a part of, and we've got to do the things that are necessary to make sure everyone stays healthy. Now that the NCAA has granted an extra year of eligibility, six of the nine Sycamore seniors are making plans to come back. Yeah, I, I think the, the good and the bad. I mean, you get guys back. The bad is that the guys that were waiting in the wings are going to be waiting longer, and they've got to decide if, if that really works for them um, and their timeline. So it's, it's good and bad. Uh, I, I think college baseball in general, with draft the draft being reduced to five rounds, the, the quality of play is going to be extremely good here moving forward the next few years. It was actually a year ago this week that ISU traveled to Nashville and won not one but two NCAA tournament games. This time off has given Hannah's an even bigger appreciation for that group. Yeah, there's no question that, that uh, obviously not just the shutdown, but all the time to reflect on all of that. Makes you appreciate the the young men that were in your program, the things that they, they were able to accomplish, but just being able to, get to play, right? I mean, sometimes we take so much for granted. Just being able to go out and I got a text the other day from Sherrard said, man, I miss baseball. And I responded back, I miss the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Just the competition part, you, you miss it. Um, but. You don't want to be selfish. I mean, obviously, in the time that we're in, sport is pushed to the side, and, and there are more important things. So, But, yeah, I've had a lot of time to reflect and think about the, the last season. The Sycamores knocked out Ohio State and hung around with the best team in all the land, Vandy. What stands out to me is just the competitive nature of the guys that we had. And, you know, recruiting is such a flip of the coin sometimes. You you see what you're getting in terms of the physical aspect, but you never know in terms of the mental and the heart and the, the competitiveness in the guys that you get. And that group, man, were they tough and competitive. Now all we can do is look forward to the 2020 baseball season and hope. Sport will come back. It could be, hopefully it's this fall, you know, with football. It uh, could be longer. I, I don't know. But in time it will and we'll all move forward and hopefully look back at this as a, a great learning curve for a lot of us. Big thanks to Coach Annis for sitting down with us. Sycamore Baseball, like every other sport, moving ahead with plans for a 2020-2021 athletic calendar as we all wait the return of athletics, including one of the Valley's brightest college baseball. That is a wrap for sports. More news to come after this.